Hello Microsoft Word lovers, in today's video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the title bar in Microsoft Word. Now our title bar could be found at the extreme top of the Microsoft Word window. And this is it right here and it comes straight across to the right. So it's from left to right. First thing you'll see is the Word logo. Now I'm using Word 365 and this is the current logo for it. Next, we have the auto save option. It says turn on auto save to save changes as they happen. Now, to use auto save, you need a account or an account with Microsoft so that you could upload everything into the OneDrive. You'll need a OneDrive to use this feature. I'll link a video on how you could create a OneDrive and how you save items to it. And this is the save button. So this document is basically new. If you click it, you could save the file. I link a video for that also. We have our undo or redo. We have the arrow that goes beside the undo where you could look at the list of commands that you have undone. So for example, I'll just type something here, press enter, go back again, just to show you what this looks like. So let's go right by the arrow there and then you'll see a history of all the things that I just did. So if you want to undo, you could just press go back and you would have undo if you want to redo. You press the redo button and whatever you would have put there before comes right back again. We also have our customized quick access toolbar. All that does is add and remove things from your title bar that you wouldn't want there or that you want there. I have an in-depth video about that. I'll link that video also. Now we have our document title or the name of our document right now our document doesn't have a name so by default microsoft word just names it document one word but if you click it and this is for the new word old words don't work like this you would have to go into the file menu to save but this you could save it from here and let's say the name of our file is welcome. So it says save this file, welcome, and we're going to save, right? And if you come back up here, you will see welcome saved. So the name of the file is welcome, and then it tells you that it was saved. Now let's go back into that feature where we click the name of the document, and our location is documents. So everything went into the document folder or the OneDrive. Then we come over here to search. Now, if we click search, this searches the document. So let's type the word again, press enter, and it tells you how many times the word again was found in a document. And that would be one time because I only typed the word again once. Let's type the word today, press enter. And it's going to tell you zero results. I missed the T and put OD, but you get the point. Let's come over here to this circle. Now it tells you who owns the account. You already know that for using Microsoft Office, you have to have like a registration product key, or you have to purchase it online or have an account. My account is in my name, Johanna Denny, and it's in my email rgcjamaica.gmail.com says it's signed in. Now we come over here to the My Benefits. You click that. Basically, this is just a whole other stuff that you could explore on, on how you could benefit from the app. We close that. Now we have these popular three buttons here. Uh, we have our Minimize. Let's open that, which takes the entire window away, makes it disappear for those who are not too familiar with these buttons. But these are buttons that are popular. They've been around for decades. This is the resize button, which simply means when you click it, it goes 
a bit smaller or smaller than the original size of the window. And when it gets like this, you could come to the four corners of the window where you would see the mouse pointer change into a double ended arrow. And you could click, hold, and resize. And you could do the same thing for the edges or for the ends, not edges. When you click that button again, it maximizes the window, which means it fills the entire page up. And you can also X out the program just like any other window when you're using a computer. Now, Word 365 has more features than the other words in the past. Now, we're going to go back to that maximize window. We're going to take our mouse pointer and we're going to just hover over on the maximize button. Now, these other options here of window styles come up, and all it's saying is, hey, I would like to maximize, I would like to resize my window to accommodate the other windows that are open. So let's use this one. Let's click this one. This one says that it's going to be into two groups. It will be Microsoft Word. Let me click it. And it's going to be ScreenPal because I'm using ScreenPal to record the screen for this video that I'm making. This one has three screens. I have Word here, I have ScreenPal here, and I have an Internet Explorer window open here that I don't want to expose or show to the viewers, right? So let's come here, and we're gonna click. So let's come here. And if you click here, it's not going to come back. So if you want it to come back to its original size, you have to come to the maximize button and maximize it. I personally think that's a very cool feature. And just to show you how that feature will work with three windows, I'll open up the folder window. I'll come back to Microsoft Word and I'll show you how that works with three windows. So let's come back up here to the maximize or resize button. We're going to go with another group, which would be Word or File Explorer window and our screen file window. So let's click. And there you have it. We have Word over here. We have our File Explorer window and we have our screen file window. And to take it out, let's come back to the Maximize Resize button and it takes it out completely. Also, if you come anywhere here on the title bar and you right click on your mouse pointer you could see you have the restore or the resize button that is what i call it let's right click again we have the minimize right click again and we have close we don't want to close the window out let me know in the comments if i'm missing any other features that belong to the title bar feature in microsoft word and i could always make a second video but for now, that's it. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I only upload videos about Microsoft Word. And hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. I'll see you in another one.